How does one start when chronicling the thousand-year saga of the formerly of Twitter crime president loser who lost? Probably with the lies, right? Remember how he's a liar who lied all the time? And not just the regular lies a president would make, because they're all liars. But like, really insidious and weird lies, in really obvious ways. Lies that were somehow way bolder than the other liar presidents. Lies that, in the end, resulted in the deaths of a lot of Americans from a virus and also a f***ing insurrection on the US Capitol and all the future deaths we've yet to see. Stay tuned for all the future deaths, folks. It's so many lies that there's an entire database keeping track of the recorded 26,548 lies that Trump has made. That's an average of 12 lies a day, meaning that between us writing this and recording and editing the episode, he probably made another 100 plus lies. Meaning that if you sat down and watched the 1997 thriller The Game, Trump will have lied at least once by the time you get to the thrilling and yet oddly low stakes twist ending that I won't spoil in case you haven't seen the 1997 thriller The Game. Just trying to put it in a perspective you all can understand, but especially for fans of 1997's The Game, starring Michael Douglas. And the most amazing part of the lies is that it's genuinely hard to tell if some of them are purposeful lies or just dumb sh he believes. Like, remember when he said you needed an ID to buy cereal? Something he's claimed multiple times? You know, if you go out and you wanna buy groceries, you need a picture on a card. You need ID. You go out and you wanna buy anything, you need ID and you need your picture. And was that just him spinning bullshit? Or is he just so disconnected from grocery shopping that he actually believes you get carded for buying food? Serious question, has he ever gone grocery shopping? Has he ever even eaten cereal before? Or are all of his breakfasts just handfuls of loose waffles crushed into wads by his balmy fingers, stuffed into his enraged kisser with a cocktail of Sudafed and Brain Force Plus while hunkered in his morning panic room, chilling with Jodie Foster. Man, I've been on a real Fincher kick lately. Also, this is gonna take forever if I spend this much time on every lie. So let's just shotgun a few of them, blast them into your face like you're a Corn Road Jared Leto in David Fincher's panic room. Starting from the very beginning of his campaign. Some highlights. Lying nonstop about his campaign opponents and drumming up lasting conspiracy theories about Hillary Clinton when there's plenty of real stuff to complain about. Saying that Obama wiretapped him because of a, uh, and I quote, little bit of a hunch. Or, much more hilariously, boosting a theory that Ted Cruz's father helped assassinate John F. Kennedy based on a story from the National Enquirer, triggering a newfound humiliation fetish in the senator and snowballing an apparent life of servitude. Anywho, Trump went on to, uh, you know, win, and then immediately lied about the crowd size of his inauguration, despite the entire nation having eyeballs. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration Period. Other lies about his election include, but aren't limited to, his insistence that he only lost the popular vote because three to five million people had voted illegally, despite that being not the truth, opposite of the truth. One of his first presidential actions was to issue a travel ban, which, in a weird coincidence, specifically targeted Muslim countries. And like, they said it wasn't a ban, and Obama had done the same thing, and both of those things were, um, lies. And then the ban caused airport bottlenecks. The shitty racist president claimed that only 109 people were affected because of his actions, despite that number being closer to at least 60,000. Wait, that's, that's weird. We didn't have a graphic of Trump's tweet about it. I wonder why that is. It's so strange. Ah, geez, what are some more lies? Do we have any racist lies? And not something easy like birtherism or like the literal first thing he said when announcing his candidacy for president, which was, and I'm very lightly paraphrasing here, Mexico is sending us their rapists who are bringing drugs. We have to build a wall to keep them out. Huh, how could we have known? Anyway, let's watch him justify the travel ban and the wall by saying in front of Congress that foreigners are responsible for the majority of terrorism since 9-11. The vast majority of individuals convicted of terrorism and terrorism-related offenses since 9-11 came here from outside of our country. 
Except that, according to the Government Accountability Office, a government agency, it's right there in the name, his government agency, only 27% of extremist violence, as in acts of terrorism resulting in death, were from radical Islamists. Can you guess what the other 73% was caused by? I will give you a hint. It rhymes with, um, Dwight Lure X C. Miss. It's a hard rhyme. It was Nazis, or Nazi types, with the skin that tends to be white, you know? Point is, lies, and also racism. Gotta, gotta speed it up here, okay? It's hard to list the lies and also explain them as lies. So, like, Google along. A lot of lies to get to, folks. Another fearmonger lie was that time he said that the murder rate in our country is the highest it's been in 47 years, when that is literally the opposite. Here's the FBI saying the opposite, and here's a graph. And if you need the nuance, what he's twisting is the true fact that there was a slight increase in crime, and that increase was the steepest in 45 years. But that's part of a larger decrease, like the, the line is going down and then ticked up slightly, and he's using that to lie, and then take credit for crime going down after he took office, even though it's just a larger pattern. And boy, does he love taking credit for things he didn't do, usually by lying about how bad things were before him, like saying that an environmental regulation cost hundreds of thousands of jobs, a figure that seemed to have come out of thin air or falsely saying that the U.S. has spent seven trillion in the Middle East when that number is actually from a study calculating the money we will spend. But hey, maybe we shouldn't be spending any trillions on blowing up foreign kids. So you know what? I will give him that one, except he still increases the military budget every year, so not really. Except also not because he's massively increased the number of drone strikes and deaths from drone strikes from other drone strike presidents and also made it so he and any other presidents don't have to say how many civilian deaths there are from those drone strikes. Also, he took credit for cutting $600 million from the F-35 program, but actually, they were planning to cut costs before ever meeting with Trump. Oh, and he freaking loved taking credit for jobs, didn't he? Most often using company expansions that had literally nothing to do with him. He worked hard to keep a Ford Lincoln plant from moving from Kentucky to Mexico, despite the actual fact that they weren't planning to do that. At all. And also, they don't make Lincolns in Kentucky. And that time ExxonMobil announced they were expanding jobs and Trump took a victory lap, despite the plan originating in 2013. Oh, hey! Hey there, friend! Do you remember when he said he spent a lot of time with 9-11 first responders and that he was, quote, down there? And then the retired deputy chief with the New York Fire Department was like, uh... No, he wasn't. 9-11, of course, being that time there were thousands of Muslims cheering on rooftops. Weird how he keeps lying about Muslims. Okay. Ah, this, okay, it's only a section of the episode. We haven't even gotten to policy or crimes or existential terrors. Remember when he kept lying about Time Magazine wanting him to be person of the year? And then we learned that he had a Photoshop Time Magazine at his golf club? Like, he was weirdly obsessed with being person of the year, like some kind of sad boomer fantasy. Speaking of weird golf course lies, how about that fake Civil War memorial that was definitely fake? Like, he had a river of blood war memorial with a quote credited to him at his golf course, and then historians were like, that definitely isn't a thing. He sharpied that hurricane map, Mexico will pay for the wall, doctors are executing babies, the military is low on ammunition, f***ing what? What is it? Are we spending trillions or are we running out of ammo? He lied about his height. What is with these guys doing that? Windmills! If you have a windmill anywhere near your house, congratulations, your house just went down 75 percent in value and they say the noise causes cancer you tell me that one okay you know the thing makes it so and of course it's like a graveyard for birds cody you doing okay Need a cold glass of egg or something? We haven't even talked about crimes or climate change or countless coronavirus lies that absolutely killed people. Like, the lies I've been covering are mostly lies we forgot because of bigger, more dangerous lies everyone knows about. 
And do we really need to talk about how he's called climate change a Chinese hoax, but privately recognizes that climate change is real? And so his lie there, one that will slow down progress to likely catastrophic results, is not out of ignorance, but flat out purposeful malfeasance. Or how people have actually died from taking hydroxychloroquine, at least one of those deaths being directly related to Trump falsely toting it as a cure for coronavirus, or the mask stuff, downplaying the virus early on, ignoring warnings, f***ing directly giving the virus to other people, this mask thing, etc. and etc. and et to the ceteras where my etc. is at, a delicious smorgasbord of lies surrounding the Russia investigation, claiming to have never met people he clearly has met, entire genres of lies. I'm sure we've missed so many lies and could perhaps blast the screen with all the other lies right at this second. Maybe with a cool font like in those James Cameron movies I've heard about. But we need to move on. Because for the most part, this is just stuff Trump did with his mouth. Mouth stuff. Trump doing mouth stuff on us. Really going ass with his mouth. Imagine that. Wow, what a clip that was from the uh, the show. Uh, thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe to this channel as well as our other channel where the uh, full episodes are. It's called Some More News. This is called Some Some More News Clips, which you know because you just watched it. Anyway...